How long have y'all been here? Uh, Three since, hours. Since 1.45? Since 7. 1.30? 7 a.m. Right after lunch. As February rolls around, Firefall 2020 is also nearing. Last year I was able to experience this firsthand and I wanted to shed some light not only on the beautiful scenery that we got to witness, but also what it takes to capture the phenomena of Firefall. I was amazed by the beauty of Yosemite, but I was even more surprised and astounded by the people from around the globe that showed up to capture and to take part in an event like this. I really wanted to shed light on what goes on behind the scenes and the logistics of being out there during a Firefall weekend. I hope this video from my time at Firefall last year will help any of you guys who are headed out there for Firefall 2020. Enjoy! Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to my channel today. We are at Yosemite, we have been for the last three days, and lucky us, it's the second week in February, which means that Firefall is happening. Firefall is incredible, and I've enjoyed watching it from three different areas. However, what I found even more spectacular was the amount of time and effort and people that showed up. And so that's what I wanted to shed light on in this video. You're not going to believe it. It's ridiculous. So we parked on Northside Drive. I need to tell you that you've got to park within the lines. And then our first night we were at El Cap picnic area. This is one of the most common places to go to take a picture. And I think it was probably the best night that we saw the most glow and the most flow from Horse Tail Falls. Did not mean to rhyme there. <laughs> a couple people while we were out there and one man was standing outside of the picnic area kind of apart from everyone else and he actually told us that sometimes you can't actually see firefall unless you take a picture of it and you like have it with your lens so I thought that was really interesting we thought that there were a lot of people there that night and there were however it was nothing in comparison to the very last night Yes, yeah, so it is currently 11.45ish, right before noon, and there are people already trekking in <laughs> to stake out their spot. Keep in mind, today is Saturday. My goal today is to capture the effort, the time, all those things that go into taking this one picture of the firefall here in Yosemite. I think there's gonna be a lot of equipment out there today. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. It is packed, let me tell you. There are people flooding in. Like, people are walking in and there are people running, running towards the firefall to get their camera position. Example A. They will not be finding a parking spot anywhere near here the near parking spots were taken around two o'clock ish yeah right around two o'clock got some clouds today those taking pictures good luck apparently if there's even so much as one cloud it can obstruct the majesty of firefall so 
hopefully that's not the case today for everyone. So we have become one of the, the walkers at this point. We're walking about a mile in. So hopefully we'll be able to capture it with our eyes. <laughs> I think we should. Because my lens is way too small. <laughs> So today we are on the south side, south and west side of Firefall. That way we can see the rocks. It's cloudy, so we thought there would still be a ton of people anyway, but there's almost nobody here and we don't know why. But we haven't seen them leaving, so we don't know where they are hiding. I mean, there's still people coming in, but not nearly as many, right? No, we've seen a lot of nice cameras go by and there are not that many here. So, we're gonna go look, go for a wander. Go solve the mystery. So, I think we've solved the mystery. Everybody has gone very far east and there's a whole field now of people. I don't even know if those are positive. I mean, there's just a lot of people. A lot of people. We're gonna go check it out. We're gonna figure this out. This is crazy! This is crazy! Who knew? We'd be on a mad goose hunt for the photographers. They move, they migrate. Instead of filling out sideways, everybody started filling out backwards. <laughs> There's just more and more groups going farther and farther back. Yeah, a lot of people go in so early just to stake out their spot for their tripod and they come with their lawn chairs and snacks and games <laughs> and they just sit out there and wait in the freezing cold. We froze our tails off the first night and we're wiser the second and third night with additional clothing. I had an incredible time at Firefall. I met a lot of amazing people. I hope y'all get a chance to experience Firefall for yourself. If you do, have fun out there. Enjoy the epic, beautiful scenery and stay warm. Like yesterday, behind all the photographers. Oh no. Thanks. <laughs> I keep forgetting to zoom out. Yeah, the, that noise in the background, that's called snow chains. That is the sound of Yosemite in winter. The peace of nature and the roar of snow chains. 